ए वाइट एक्शन वंस रिटिक्यूल्ड बाय क्रिटिक्स कैनेडियन पेंटर ए वाई जैक्शन इज नाउ कंसिडर्ड द पायोनियर ऑफ मॉडर्न लैंडस्केप आर्ट ही इज ऑल्सो द फाउंडर ऑफ द फेमस कैनेडियन ग्रुप ऑफ सेवन द फर्स्ट टाइम ए वाई जैक्शन एंड हिज आर्टिस्ट फ्रेंड्स हैड अ शो ऑफ देयर पेंटिंग्स क्रिटिक्स कॉल दैम द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अ डेरेंज माइंड इट इज अ गुड थिंग डेट जैक्शन बिलीव्ड इन हिमसेल्फ एंड हिज एबिलिटीज otherwise he might not have gone on to be one of the most successful and respected artist in canadian history alexander young jackson everyone called him avi jackson was born to a poor family in montreal in 1882 his father abandoned them when he was young and avi had to go to work at age 12 to help support his brothers and sisters working in a paint shop he became interested in art and eventually he saved up enough money to travel and study in europe after returning to canada he began to paint landscapes in a fresh new style other young artists took notice and avi uh, jackson soon had a group of friends who not only loved to paint but also aspired to change the traditional way in which landscapes were painted jackson had faith in himself and his fellow artists he felt they could th- turn the art would world on its head he and several other artists decided to try an unusual experiment traveling by train and uh, living together in a box car as it rolled across northern ontario they painted everything they saw the group of seven as they called themselves put the results of the tour together to create an art show in toronto in 1920 that was the show where the critics called the paintings art gone mad but this did not deter ay he was convinced that the group of seven was on to something great he kept painting traveling and exhibiting and although it took many years his modern style started to catch on and his work became interesting increasingly popular by the time he died in 1974 at the age of 82 ay jackson was acknowledged as a painting genius and a pioneer of modern landscape art he and the other painters of the group of seven are among the most famous artists in canadian history with an entire museum and art gallery dedicated to their work jackson could have chosen to listen to critics and given up his all bold new ideas but he remained confident and followed his dream